Cox Plate for Kieran Maher and David Eustace. David and I's partnership is really good, it's really simple. We work together and do things my way. <laughs>I started working with Kieran about six, seven years ago now and been lucky enough to go into partnership with him and, and seeing the business grow from 70 to 80 in work to, to a few more than that now. Dave and I, uh, we're a bit like Zing and Zang, is it? He's 30, probably going on 55. I'm 40, probably going on 25. He's very organised, I'm probably not. We're basically the opposite of each other and I think that's why it works. I recognised how good his strike rate was. It was higher than anyone's in Victoria at the time. He was dealing with horses that weren't costing hundreds of thousands from the sale, so that really caught my eye. And the fact that he was winning races with all sorts of horses. I think I had a couple of beers with him many years ago. From that time on, my chairman and a couple of other guys said, I need an assistant trainer, and I said, no, I don't. And they kept going at me, and this was when I went on over a couple of months, and I said, oh, I know who it is. This Pommy guy I met, he was working with Moody at the time. Fast forward another couple of months, so I just rang him up and said, oh, do you want to be my assistant trainer? There was no interview process, there was no nothing. So ever since he's come on, it's been fantastic. We've got a great relationship. He is simply the master, Kieran Mark. The emotion thing about working with him is that he just doesn't conform to the norm. Yes, people have been training the way they have for a long, long time, but that doesn't mean that it's right. He's obviously a very good horseman. He's a good team man. You know, the culture of the stable is a big thing. The vibe of the staff is, carries through to the horses, I think. Oh, I'm strapping. I've done this for a while. I don't know whether it's destiny, but it's something that I grew up with and loved from day one a bit of a geek when I was a kid, so I'd watch races all over the world. I watched the Melbourne Cup from a very early age, and Australia was an obvious place to come. I feel very grateful to be in this position, and certainly don't see myself anywhere else.